he got a sad B. I got a sad B, yeah, right? But yeah, here's the, like the funny and like comical thing about um, Agnes, the scientist. You notice he's too muscular for a scientist? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, 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 most scientists, the way we see them right now, are like skinny or like quirky. Not like muscular and buff. Yeah, I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's like a, that's like a really odd down combination. Be right. down right. Alright, so he jumped down the well. Jump down the well, little Jimmy. Oh, what? That's not the well. Alright, jump. Jump down. There you go. There you go. Alright, that's another Dante event. That's another Dante event. Dante event. My bad. Sorry, I'm thinking of little DMC. D, little MC. We're not gonna play that in the Legacy. Damn it. That's not. No. <laughs> you gotta keep the train rolling with the mainline series. No fillers. Or no fillers. Uh, got a fish. Little fishies. Oh, these guys are annoying. Where are you? Yeah, that's the annoying part about them. They like you can only shoot them. Yeah, and that too. Like even if you dodge or jump cancel. There you go. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep the train moving. All right. I know the next area is going to be a pain in the ass. You'll see. You'll see. Water? No, not underwater. You'll see why. Now loading. Now loading. You get to play Candyland, fucking DMC style. So this whole so this whole mission's gimmick, this entirety of this mission is to play this dice board game. Where's the dice? Oh there it is. A whole like you have to play Dungeons and Dragons dice. Oh god. Alright, so now we have to now we have to play freaking RPGs or play like board games, so one two three is um three is blue Four, five, uh, six is, um, six is enemies or danger. So we can get like a two or, or three. There's two. There you go, two. So there's a little bit of an exploit with this. So I found out in a recent stream, whatever the num whatever the number is standing on top, you get to actually do that. Um, I'm sorry, um, you get to actually get that roll. Alright. So, yellow's just- I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure- Pretty okay. sure they wanna make this RNG. Yeah, right. Um... Focus my statue. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. So we want a six. Oh, you saw a six? Oh, that was a three! Damn it. Okay, that doesn't matter. It's fine. But, um... We can get a 4. After the 1. 
There you go. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, blue. That's not bad. Stack up even more. Can we reach six million? <laughs> Okay, so we can get a one here. This was already looking to yes, I yeah. I think I got you... it wrong. Damn it, four. One, two, three, four. Well, it's bound to happen. I mean, at least you're not moving anywhere. Back. No yeah, shot. I'm not moving anywhere back, that's the thing. And I got full health back. Good. Yeah, that's yeah, that's like the thing. Um, but but at least with this game, you could get more combat, so that's a plus, I believe. So that's a plus, I guess. All right. So what we need is a four or a five. After the one. There you go. Four. Whatever's landing on top. Alright. So all we need is just a 5 or a 6. So it's after the 3 or the 4 for 6. Okay, we got it anyway. 6. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. If nobody didn't know about that exploit, you would be like grinding this place for days. You would be going back and I don't forth to Dice Maze. See, I don't think it's an exploit. I think it's like it's meant to do that. It's meant to do that? I don't know. Man. I think it's meant for to like to like find out for themselves. Find out for themselves? I guess. Containment room. Alright, so this is where we actually meet Agnes. <sighs> this is where we get an oh so important power up for Nero. Hmm. Let's see if we can finish it by today. If not, we'll probably extend it to maybe tomorrow or Sunday. Because with cutscenes, it's pretty long. Uh, not long cutscene. We have eh? to. We gotta keep the it's legs. It's a katana. Down. It's a katana. Broken katana. Zoro, you missed one of your swords there. So. You've come. Just as I'd expect. Is anybody excited for the new One Piece arc? Well, we're already in it right now, the Wano Kingdom, but is everybody excited for it? Working in secrecy, very few. It's already happening. Shit's going down already. I'm already reading it, so. Yeah, that's true. I know Leo is. I know Leo is. It's pretty. It's pretty fun. Watch your words. Yeah, like, right now, I think Luffy and, um, Eustace Kid are in prison because they, um, rebelled against Kaido. So they'll be stuck in prison for a little bit longer. As for everyone else, they're just, um, plotting with, um, Momon Momonosuke, who is actually the heir to the Wano Kingdom. It's 
Or fish. Flying fish. Flying swordfish. This is all Kratos doing. It was Kratos who ordered you to follow the Dante. It was Kratos who brought you here. Kratos. Dante? You mean the man that killed his holiness? What the hell's going on here? I don't have to answer to you, for you are already as good as dead. I beg to differ. It would have been like, I beg to differ. Yeah, that would have been a sick burn. Yeah, right? Okay, so, whole gimmick is that, um... The sword. Yeah, the sword. We gotta crack the screen. He dancing? I didn't see him dancing. Holy shit! Whoa. Um, that's the other gimmick. Uh, gotta run for it. And we gotta jump. Ow. So much health. It's just glass. Yeah, it's just glass, but uh, uh, um, standing on top of it. <laughs> okay. One more hit. There you go. Alright. Alright, ass face. Or weirdly muscular man. Tell me what you need to tell me what I need to know. Answer my question. What the hell going on? Scream. How profound. Hey, hey, get away from my arm. Look at him like leering. With the agility of like that. <laughs> then I shall give them to you. It has only been a few years since I began this research. Could we isolate and bind demonic power? It could enable us to conquer the world. And that, that is the wish of His Holiness. His Holiness. What a crock. And you may as well ditch the efforts, pal, because his holiness is dead. Ah, but his holiness has been reborn as an angel. An angel. And soon, soon, soon. I'm pretty sure that's the opposite. He's a <laughs> demon. Opposite world. Wait, what? Oh god! Or you got poked. See, but just a small fraction of my research has yielded. Yeah, I'm noting it right. I just noted a while ago, but I'm still noting it now, and it's still like kind of weirds me out. It's goddamn like body type. No, no scientist is that skinny. I mean, maybe, but not really. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, skinny. <laughs> you're like just, you're like just playing scientist for not going outside and hanging out. 
How yeah, you're not going out, that? man. How, how the heck did he get so, like, big and buff and swole? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has something. But at the same time, nah, scientists man. could be big. Nah, man. He's a bookworm. He's a he's a total bookworm, alright? Like, unless, he's got, unless we see evidence of, like, dumbbells and stuff. Well, maybe he was lifting that, but... That's, that's like, that is just, oh well, yeah, okay, he could lift those every once in a while. <laughs> Shall be my next Look how big that sword is. Swordfish. Yo, Nero, that's nasty. Stop spreading your, like, DNA. Take. Which is a funny, like, reference if anybody gets it. There you go. Nero is tapping in. So this is where sh shit gets really important. There we go. Oh, look at Agnes, he's a bug man. Insect bug man. That's no angel. It could be. It could be. So this is where we see Nero's devil trigger. It's an astral projection, so not really a full DT. How? Not even I could succeed in restoring it. So listen to Nero's words right here. Preposterous! So everybody caught that? Like Nero's special dialogue when he gets his DT? He says, um, my arm changed and he said, power, give me more power. So that was an actual, um, not reference, but like a cute clue to like what Nero was kind of was back in the day. Like, he was somewhat connected to Virgil. And Virgil's whole shtick was about power. I need more power. It was further, like, evident because, um, his DT, or his astral projection DT, was, like, the Nilo Angelo. The big, um, sword-wielding dude that we fight in DMC1. Was Virgil, but brainwashed by Mundus. Alright, so we got Yamato. Sword and beard with tremendous magic. It unleashes the latent power within Nero. So this is where we can use our DT. So this like, um, shocked fans back in the day, or like maze fans back in the day, because it was like, the whole, um, controversy about like, Virgil and Nero being related, like, Virgil, um, sorry, um, Virgil being the daddy to Nero, or Nero being the son to Virgil. So it's like a whole huge, like, shipping thing, or more like a plot, plot relation thing with, um, Nero and Virgil. It was never really settled until DMC5, where we actually got answers to that. 
and Dante becoming and Dante becoming um, an uncle. Uncle Dante. All right, so. Anybody with us? Leo, you there? I'm here. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Ooh, max act already. Okay. There you go. Alright, opens up that drawbridge. Silent night. Holy night. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but wasn't that shit crazy back in the day? Like knowing what what Nero was. Mm -hmm. Want to like know more, guys? Like, um, there's actually um, a fan dub website that actually explains. Um, the interconnections of Devil May Cry 4. Like, you get more background to, like, Nero and get a little bit more spotlight to Dante as he's running around through Fortuna City. Fortuna. Okay. There you go. Let's wrap up a bit. There you go. Alright, ballerina. What do we have? Ooh, dickheads. Use your blood, use your katana, man. Oh well. Alright, here we go. Oh wait, is that really? Oh no, it's always a double trick. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was like dropping uh, a No, when when Nero gets some um, Yamato, that acts as his double trigger. Ah. Uh -uh. Yeah, I know, right? It's only accessible for um Dante. And when Nero uses it, that actually unlocks his DT, which is not bad. You were hoping for some like EI Jutsu like sword and sheet slashing thing? I mean, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Rust them. There you go. Only two. There will be more. They will be more. Oh, already wrapped. Good, good, good. Um, who wants to come out and play? you say that for a boss. Um, I know, I know, we can't we gotta save the boss, but god damn it looks cool when you do it on enemies. That will look cooler on a boss. <laughs> ah There you go. 
But yeah, you're right. Um, Devil Buster or DT Devil Buster looks way better on bosses. Oh, so we got. So you're right. We gotta save up. Then again, we have like 22 Devil Stars, so that's not really an issue. <laughs> All right. Um. There you go. Jump, put a jump. Jump, put a jump. Pretty good gymnastics there, Nero. I think that was on the plan. All the way up, but he, but he like, but he like curved that um sewer, that air duct pipe. Such great sneeze. He cheated doing the high. <laughs> high dive. Dump. All right. Um. So we have to go through here. I don't think we have to battle any enemies here. We could just blitzkrieg through. I wish you had a running attack. You could just literally keep using it. There you go. That loses their momentum. It does lose momentum. It's meant for like, like a taunt and an attack, and it doesn't do anything. Until it's rigging it. This isn't fast. I know, but I like battling too. <laughs> I lied. I lied. This game's too fun to ignore battles. Catch this. The thing is with this combat is that it's the most fluid and the most fun out of all the Devil May Cry. Even, even like for 3. And Devil May Cry 3's combat is pretty good, but 4 just takes it up a notch with like Nero and like Dante's new moveset because in 3 you're you're only locked to one style and that's it. But in 4 you can switch on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we just exit over here. There you go. There goes that place. Back to the waterfall. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, that was funny. When you saw that little bit, the sprint still carried his momentum. I know. It still stopped. <laughs> it's the tidbits parts that just get you. I just get you, man. Alright. Is that luck? Yes, what the fuck? Yeah, that's the thing though. Because, like, here's the thing with Devil May Cry 4. Um, you go from one area where it's nice and sunny and sunset, you go from another area to, like, snowing, and then you meet the- and then you meet a freaking forest. Like, weather doesn't apply. <laughs> now, forget the weather location doesn't apply. <laughs> Even Dante says, what the hell is this? And he what says it- the effect of the gate? The gates, so the hell gates. Sorry, kid. This is gonna have to wait. Dante, where are you falling to? That's just a texture. He's falling into nothing. Falling into the forest texture. How much could he really know? That's a big ass magnum that Nero has. Hand cannon. Hand cannon, man. I got another question in mind. Um, which do you prefer, handgun magnum or shotgun? Uh, I like shotguns. I mean, pistol like, like handguns are like 